In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for CrO4 2 minus. That's the chromate ion. We'll use these general rules here to help us find the oxidation number, and we're mainly interested in the chromate here. So we go down the rules, and we can see that we're not finding chromate, but oxygen almost always has a minus 2, with a few exceptions. So each one of these oxygen atoms here is going to have an oxidation number of minus 2. And while we don't see the chromate here, we do have a rule that says in an ion, all of the oxidation numbers must add up to the charge on the ion. So think of it this way. We have minus 2, 4, 6, 8. Minus 8 plus some number, and that number, that'll be the oxidation number on the chromium, is going to equal the charge on the ion. So that equals a minus 2. So minus 8 plus a positive 6, that would give us minus 2. So this positive 6 is the oxidation number on the chromium. And all of these numbers here, they add up to the charge on the ion, the chromate ion. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the atoms we knew, in this case the oxygen, and we use that along with this rule that with an ion, the oxidation numbers all add up to the charge on the ion to figure out the chromium. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for CrO42 minus the chromate ion. Thanks for watching.